You've bled, you've sweated, you've ignored friends and family, and what do you have to show for all of this sacrifice? You have a comic book. But what do you do with it now? Easy, you print it and you make tons of money. I don't know if I can help you with the making money part, but I can help you with getting your book printed. Hey, Walter here. And if you are ready to print your comic book, that means you have finished your comic book. So congratulations on getting it this far. Now let's get it printed so we can share it with the world. Now with printing, we're gonna have a few options. One of them being just get a publisher and let them deal with all of that crap, but not us, no. We are indie creating self-publishing warriors and we're gonna do it ourselves. So that leaves us with two options, print on demand, otherwise known as pod or offset printing. So print on demand is used for smaller print runs, like 20, 50, 100, maybe a thousand copies, depending on what printers you have access to and what they're capable of handling. If you need to print more than that, then offset printing is the way to go. Now pod is gonna be more expensive per copy than offset, but you don't have to print as many, which means in the end, you won't be spending as much up front. Also, pod printers tend to be local, which will save you some money on shipping costs because of you know just the distance and the weight of just having less books. For example, let's say you have a 100 page graphic novel and you decided to do print on demand. Now, if the cost per book is $10 and you wanna print 100 copies, you're gonna be out of pocket about a thousand bucks. And let's say costs for shipping is a hundred bucks. Now, what if we decided to do offset printing for the same book? Let's say we're gonna print 2000 copies and it's gonna cost us about $3 and 50 cents a piece per book, which is a lot cheaper than the print on demand of $10 per book. So if we're doing 350 for 2000 copies, we're looking at about $7,000 just to print the books. Now, if we add shipping on that, it's gonna be more and the shipping for offset can be anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars. And this is one of the reasons why you wanna print in larger quantities when you do offset printing. And that is to offset some of the costs that come along with offset printing. One of them being the shipping and the other being some of the upfront charges that that occur when you're doing offset printing. So let's say if the upfront cost for getting the book set up and everything to do the offset printing is $1,000. If you only print one book, that book's gonna cost you $1,000 per book. But if you print 1,000 copies, the setup cost is only gonna come out to about a dollar a book, which is way cheaper. And the more books you print, you can see how that offset uh, upfront cost kind of dwindle, dwindles down per book. So yeah, we're getting a cheaper price per unit or PPU, but we're spending way more upfront, $7,000 versus $1,000. A lot of us can't afford $7,000. So that's gonna be what determines doing print on demand or offset. The other consideration is do we really need 2,000 copies of a book? How long will it take to even sell that many books? Can we even store that many books? Uh, I printed 2,000 copies of my graphic novel, Shiver Bureau, and looking back, I wish I had printed a little bit less. All right, so now that we know the differences in printing, how do we go about finding a printer? Uh, finding a print-on-demand printer is gonna be a little bit easier than offset. There's printers everywhere. Um, I would even say suggest looking local to find a printer. Having a local printer is gonna make things a lot easier. You can go to their storefront, check out different types of paper, deal with them, communication will be faster, and you can even go to their location to pick up your books and save on that shipping cost. So just pull up Google and do a search for printers. You can search for comic printers, but I would suggest looking for just printers in general. Comic printers may charge a little bit of a premium because they are comic specialists, which you know could be true. Uh, some comic printers that I do know about are RA Direct, Lightning Source, Comics Wellspring, Kablam. A lot of them also have instant online quotes where you can kind of get an idea of how much things are going to cost. Reach out to a few of them, get a few different quotes. Uh, also, when you're getting those quotes, make sure you ask about how long it's gonna take to actually produce the book. 
Now for offset, I printed in China and I used a site called Alibaba, which is a cool site where you can find a bunch of manufacturers in China, get quotes from all of them, compare statistics, see a history and reviews for a specific company, um, which is really cool, but it was still really nerve wracking because I knew I'd be sending a ton of money overseas without really knowing the company or having any way of holding the company accountable. So I did a ton of research on the companies before I found one that I trusted. Um, and like I said, you're gonna get a cheaper price per unit dealing with China, but the shipping costs from China are crazy high uh, because you're going to be shipping it on a boat and not only that it's going to be a lot slower because you're shipping it on a boat if you live in the u.s canada is a great option the price per unit is going to be slightly higher than china but the shipping is going to be cheaper and it's going to show up a lot faster i'm sure there's some offset printers in the u.s as well i just haven't found any with a really strong competitive price so if you know of any please let us know in the comments Finding a good cheap printer requires some legwork, but just think about the amount of money you're going to be spending. It's worth taking the time to find the right printer for you. Once you've found a printer, they're going to ask you what type of options you want when you're printing your book. First being the binding type. Saddle Stitch is a stapled book, kind of like a single issue comic. And then you have Perfect Bound, which is like a trade paperback comic. Uh, the other option would be hardcover. Not a lot of printers do hardcover, so if you want that, you're gonna have to do a little bit more legwork to find a printer who will do that. Next up is paper type, usually glossy, which is the shiny paper with a sheen on it, or matte, which is the non-shiny paper without the sheen on it. And then you have the thickness or the weight of the paper. Different printers in different countries are going to identify their papers in different ways. You can always ask them to send you samples so you know exactly what you're getting for your book. Uh, one of the examples is comic book pages in the US are usually around 80 pounds. And then, of course, the heavier the paper, the more expensive it will be to print your book. There are some other upgrades as well. With the cover, you can have UV coating, which makes a part of the cover a lot shinier so that it sticks out. Of course, you have to choose matte for the rest of the cover if you want to use that. And then you have emboss, which is creating a raised section on the cover, which looks really cool. I did both of those for my graphic novel, and I love the way it looks. You could do other things like glow in the dark or, I don't know, scratch and sniff. The next step is getting the books. If you did a small amount, it's gonna show up just like any other normal package from FedEx or UPS. Uh, if you print it a lot, it's gonna show up on a big truck, on a big pallet, and it's going to have to go somewhere. You may also get charged more if you have to have it delivered to a residential address. Uh, not a whole lot, I think, maybe no more than 100 bucks. It's, it's been a while since I've done it. Now, I was lucky enough to have a garage to have the books delivered to. So basically, I just had them drop it in my garage and then I stacked everything up against the wall. Uh, I can imagine if you're on the fourth floor apartment, it would be a huge nightmare. These boxes aren't light either. I have three different books and the boxes that hold those books weigh anywhere from 30 to 55 pounds. Hopefully that will help you with your printing. I know it can be a really stressful thing and I know it stressed me out when I did it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you would like to support me, think about checking out my Patreon and throwing me a few schmeckles. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, be sure to like, link, love, hug, and sub for more sweet, sweet goodness. Peace.